Hello and welcome to today's DIY. Today's project is not a painting video. Instead, I'm gonna take you into my home and share my daughter's closet upgrade with you. If you are new here, I am Tracy and I show up weekly to offer you DIY inspiration through home decor, thrift flips, and full-on furniture painting projects with a big focus on bold color and whimsical style. If this sounds like you, I'd love it if you'd give a quick thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. All right, let's get started. All right, I had no idea that a closet upgrade would be the solution to an ongoing struggle in our home, or I would have done this years ago. You won't believe the before and after. Now today's particular project is in Zadie's room. She's our 16 year old daughter and Zadie is your typical teen. She's got way too many clothes, lots of small pieces and parts to her wardrobe, so many cheer uniforms and practice wear pieces and don't even get me started on the shoes. So keeping her organized in a standard clunky builder grade closet has been an ongoing battle. We were forever searching for missing pieces of uniforms or the other shoe and hanging clothes up up, that's a challenge in itself. I have tried for years to make her closet situation, to be honest, all of our closet situations in our home better with baskets and buckets, wire shelving from very popular big box store, and nothing has worked until modular closets and their helpful design team, a design team. While this closet upgrade has helped us by helping our 16 year old to stay organized and orderly, I am choosing to share this with you as well because I believe the closet space, it has the ability to give us peace of mind to our everyday. Yet it's a space that we often ignore or try for years to make better and we just can't figure out how. While you watch this video, consider your storage in your home and not just your bedrooms. I bet you have a closet or even a room in your home that could use a well laid out system to keep things at your fingertips in a refreshing way. I want to share with you our closet modular upgrade journey so you can see how easy it was and what a difference it makes. So come along with me into the room of a 16 year old and just watch the magic happen. Welcome to Zadie's room and her two bifold closets that were built in the year 1964. I realize it looks quite tidy, but I was in no way going to show you the ugly version. Now you can see I'd added cube storage to the one on the left and even labeled the cubes and this helped, but it was not optimal. The closet on the right is all hanging clothes with an inaccessible shelf that is just too high for her to reach. After submitting photos and measurements to a modular closet designer and a list of what Zadie's storage needs were, we received a mock-up of the design, which was really fun to see. And with our approval of the design, the closet system was shipped directly to us. Now you can choose your own design yourself, but they do have a designer option available, which I found really helpful. We chose to tackle one closet at a time just to try to tame the chaos and disorder in her room. So with Zadie's help, we began to remove all hanging items. Holy cow, just look what we pulled out of one closet and piled onto the guest bed. It's almost embarrassing. Now Matt removed the boards that were holding the closet poles and I gave a fresh coat of paint to the closet walls. The system comes with a very detailed set of instructions that both Matt and I found to be extremely easy to follow because we all know that these instructions can sometimes look like they are in a foreign language. <laughs> they were direct and to the point and they also emailed us videos to watch for those of you that prefer to learn by video instead. So we thought that was really nice. Now Matt was the builder, I was the assistant and Zadie was there for moral support. <laughs> He only needed a screwdriver, a drill, a level, a stud finder, and a measuring tape for the entire process. The first closet consisted of three towers, which were very easy to construct. What I really love about this system is the components hang from the wall, so the floor is left open. They do offer systems with legs as well, but I really prefer the floor to be free of clutter. Once all three towers were mounted, we began constructing the drawers and hanging the shoe shelves and the wire basket components inside the towers. Let me just show you how well everything is packed. 
When items are shipped, it is so important that they are packed well because nothing is worse than getting knee deep into a project and having to return part of it because something was damaged. Our system was not missing a single piece or damaged in any way. Would you look at this? It's complete and ready to be used in just a few short hours. It is not only nice to look at, but it's quality as well. It didn't take Zadie long at all to fill the spaces and make this her own. She moved all the shoes, hats, belts, bags, purses over to the shelves and baskets, and she put her private items like her uniforms, her socks, her bras, her underwear in the drawers. The drawers and baskets are constructed with metal glides and they slide in and out so smoothly. I honestly think that the shoe, slanted shoe shelves are my favorite part because I mean, let's be honest, who doesn't wanna see all the pretty shoes? So let's head over to the closet on the left. Now this is the one that will hold all of her hanging clothes and that's a big job. I mean, you saw them on the bed. So to be honest, I was really worried that the design layout was not going to be enough. So just to remind you, this is what it looked like before. And Matt emptied this closet for us while Zadie and I weren't home, so I didn't get a video of the unload. And I also didn't get a video of me painting the inside, but I did because I just forgot to do it. But it was no different than painting the other closet. So this is what it looks like fully installed before Zadie promptly filled it up. The left side is mounted to the walls and the two hanging bars are installed. Now the right side portion has a single bar and a shelf and it gives you the option to hang it as high or low as you want. I really liked her having an option to a space like a shelf that she could reach easily. So we placed it about midway down. Now she still has the upper shelf to store things that she doesn't use as often, but a shelf that she can reach on the right as well. And this is the final look. We are so pleased with it. It is extremely functional. It held all of her clothes, much to my surprise, and it's pretty. In fact, it's so pretty, we chose to remove the bifold doors. Zadie likes the open fill, and she feels like it will encourage her to keep it organized and tidy. We'll see about that. <laughs> I am very eager to repeat this process in our master bath closet that we use for all sorts of storage and it's utter chaos in there. I hope that this inspires you to create an organized space or two in your home. I have a feeling you will be like me and want it for all of your closets. The Modular Closets family is so wonderful to work with. They have even created a special coupon code for my community for you to use towards your very own modular closet upgrade. When you're at the checkout process, just enter the code FANCY, F-A-N-C-Y in all capital letters for a 10% savings, and it lets them know that I sent you as well. I've included the link in the video description below to help you get started. Well, that's it for today's DIY. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe and even leave a comment or a quick hello. I'll be back next week with more DIY inspiration. For those of you looking for a deeper dive into home decor and DIY processes, I would love to invite you to join my exclusive online creative group called Curiously Creative, where I show up via live video to guide you through every step of updating, upcycling, crafting, and creating the most on-trend home decor and gift giving ideas. You can find that link right here and in the video description below. I'll see you next time.